With our top focus this hour, amid ongoing tensions between India and Canada, NIA has intensified its operation against Khalistani terrorists in India. NIA team has confiscated the properties of banned organization Sikhs for Justice Chief Gurpat Pant Singh Pannu in Amritsar and Chandigarh. And has also put a notice outside deceased Khalistani terrorist Hardim Singh Nijja's ancestral house in Jalandhar to confiscate his properties. Uh, joining us uh, live right now is uh, my colleague Gurpreet. Gurpreet, uh, what are the details that we're tracking this hour? Of course, uh, in fact, Pradeep is joining us live with uh, more information on this. Pradeep, uh, what exactly is the operation that is being undertaken by NIA? Of course, all of these terrorists who have been spewing venom against India from foreign soil finally being brought to the book. Yes, you're absolutely right, Ashish. In fact, we have seen that how they had been trying to uh, tighten news against all these Khalistani terrorists and gangsters who are involved in anti-India activities. We have seen that this is a multi-pronged strategy that has been adopted by the government of India. Uh, we saw that there was a raid conducted just two days back against all those gangsters and associates who are putting up in Punjab. And now they have confiscated, National Investigation Agency has confiscated property of Gurpatwan Singh Punu. He's the one who is heading six for justice. It's a banned outfit. This outfit was banned by Ministry of Home Affairs last year only for anti-India activities. They have confiscated his property in uh, Chandigarh as well as in Amritsar because he's the man who just two days back, he gave a press conference in which he was trying to threaten Hindus in Canada. He has been threatening our bureaucrats, uh, our diplomats there also, the people working in consulate, even the high commissioner. Because uh, So that's one of the reasons that the government has finally tried, decided to tighten news against them. And already uh, the problem property of uh, Hardeep Singh Nijar, his sister, also he's being uh, confiscated. They have uh, raided his place in uh, Jalandhar area. So basically what we have seen over the period of time, uh, these terrorists, these gangsters, they had been operating either from the Pakistan soil or they had been operating from uh, United States of America and Canada. But unfortunately, the Canadian Prime Minister was not able to see uh, the reality. The reason being that he was more concerned about the vote bank politics. And uh, it will not be wrong if I call Canada has become uh, the Pakistan, Western Pakistan. Uh, so because there is a lot of similarity between the two countries. We have seen and that all the two countries, whether it's Canadian Prime Minister or the Pakistani leadership, they keep on denying their role in supporting, aiding and abetting terror. Uh, that is uh, training its gun towards India. Second, uh, they are not only in denial mode, but they're also trying to use the diversionary tactics on one hand while Pakistan is playing the victim card. The same way, uh, the Canadian Prime Minister is also trying to uh, shift blame on India for uh, accusing him of uh, being responsible for assassination of uh, Hardeep Singh Nijar. But the real reality is that India is a democratic country and legally following the case on several occasions already the dossiers had been issued to the Canadian government they wanted that absolutely some of those Pradeep uh, we'll of course keep coming back to you for government. more information on this this is of course uh, the NIA's action against uh, all of these uh, Khalistani terrorists who are spewing venom against India from foreign soil but meanwhile amidst